Let's look at how we can link data across worksheets. And as you can see in this one, I have uh, absentees. I've got a summary of my absentees, but I don't have any figures over here. What I do have are worksheets for grade 12 with all the information in there, grade 11, 10, 9, and 8. But when we talk about linking the data, remember when we dealt with our charts, um, we're talking about the fact that I'm going to put that data in here, but if anything changes, and let's just use the grade 12s, if anything changes over here, I want it to change in my summary as well. That's the purpose of my link. So one of the easiest ways I can do this is simply to go to my total. And you can see when I click on that total, there is a formula that's adding all of this together, right? You can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that cell and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go to my summary worksheet next to grade 12 and I'm going to paste, but I'm not going to do an ordinary paste. I'm not going to paste just the value because it's not going to link. I'm not going to pop in just the formula. I'm going to go all the way over to paste link. And you can see my formula on top there in the formula bar. You can see how that changes. And now that shows 39. So let's go and see if it works. I'm going to go up to this class over here and I'm going to change that to 10. That now changes to 47. And if it's linked correctly, there we go. That should change as well. And then I can do the same for grade 11 and grade 10 and grade 9 and grade 8 as well. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to hit the equals button. I'm then going to go to grade 10 and I'm going to take that total and I'm going to hit enter and you'll see it's also done exactly the same thing. Well, let's let's go and test it out. Let's change that 10 to a 20. And in my summary, that changes as well. So that's just another way that I can do exactly the same thing. Linking data in our worksheets.